In the previous video, I showed how to do a difference applied to a block of text that had turned into a path to join it to a bounding box to have a silhouette or an outline cut in perhaps a picture frame. We're going to use the same technique this time. Instead of placing each individual letter, we'll do a whole group, uh, keep the group of text together and apply the difference command to the whole group. And the difference in this time is if you combine that path together, then you can treat it as one continuous segment and the difference command will work on the whole block of text. So once again, you get your text, get your size, and then we will ensure that it is converted to a path. Give it a stroke paint and no fill, a one pixel wide path. And then combine that block of text. That's the key. Combine it. Then when you position it close over your bounding box and shift select the box, apply the difference command and you have it attached to that one continuous outline of the segment. Still you have no problem, you have no descender on that P. So there's one way to do it is, is you'll break apart the text and take that one P out and then group the rest of the text, the whole. So you would grab any of your descender letters and pull them out and then once again, recombine the text, add it, shift select, and then we have the difference command there. And then come back and add the P, position the P, um, shift select, do your difference. Oh, whoops, forgot to combine the paths of the P. And now we can do the difference and it'll connect in a nice continuous outline path. A little tweaking with the nodes, but we didn't go down quite enough on that next to the frame. So get your node tool and just draw a box around any of the nodes you want to delete. They'll highlight and then press delete, and you can delete those little nodes. The node command is important because almost any kind of text, and depending upon the letters and situation, you're going to need to use that group or that uh, node tool. I'd prefer to do this way. Let's just go ahead and, and combine that text and place it all at once and do the difference and the we lose the descender on the p and um we'll we'll add it back in a highlight and i think it looks pretty nice and just a little bit of tweaking like that can make a difference in designs so the P disappears. Let's zoom in there and we're going to get the node tool and we're going to add nodes to the path to extend that path to where we want it to go. So click on double click on anywhere in the line you want a node. Add a second node and then now you have a nice descender there. Click click add another node and then a third double click and you have the folder and that 
kind of mirrors the, the top of that P. Um, even have a slight serifs on those letters on top. Not quite exactly the same, but just simply add, double click, add another node, then another node, double click, then a third node, and uh, just a little bit of shaping with your with your paths and smoothing that path out and I think it turns out okay to have that descender still in the equation there in the block of text. So simply double click to add that node and then you can drag it and you can have uh, extend more lines. Now there's a problem with the M. There's a little bit of a spot that would free fall. It's not connected to anything. So we're going to use the node command and unconnect the node there, break apart the node there, spread it out. There's an extra node here and there and there that we can get rid of, make it a little bit easier to smooth the lines. And you have other nodes that kind of make it crooked. So we're going to break apart the top, select on that line, and if we click on the final node, look what happens. The whole line segment goes. So break apart there, and then you click on the fine back last node, and then, then that line segment, path segment gets deleted. Click on the node, select, shift click the second node, join command. Click on the node, shift click the second node, and then join the nodes together into one node. A little tweaking of the path. Then you have a complete top of that letter M that still has the over and under effect and yet will hold on. A little bit delicate, but uh, should hold up. I'm going to put a box behind it or underneath it to highlight that shadow effect. We'll use a classic red and black yellow uh, for a little bit of an Art Deco flavor to it. So just stick a 255 to get a pure red in the box and the path or the stroke and on the fill. And uh, then on the outline path, let's make it yellow, 255 and red, 255 and a green. And then let's um, let's do a little bit different. I'll put a black in that fill. Well, first yellow, and, and it shows how it pops out. And you get a nice outline behind it. So now if we put a black fill in there, and then widen the stroke a couple pixels, I think it makes it quite a striking lettering there. To have the red background, black shadow, and yellow. line outline of the stroke of the lettering. Thanks for watching.